Hello viewers, welcome to the section Behaviour Driven Development. In this section we will learn about installing Cucumber CPP in Ubuntu, building and executing the test cases and writing the first Cucumber test case. Now we move on to the video Installing Cucumber CPP in Ubuntu. In this video we will install the Cucumber CPP framework prerequisite software. Also we will install Ruby and Ninja. Behavior driven development is an outside in development technique. BDD encourages capturing the requirements as a set of scenarios or use cases that describe how the end user will use the feature. The scenario will precisely express what will be the input supplied and what is the expected response from the feature. The best part of BDD is that it uses a domain specific language called Gherkin to describe the BDD scenarios. Now we will learn about the Gherkin language. Gherkin is the universal language used by every BDD framework for various programming languages that enjoy BDD support. Gherkin is a line oriented language, similar to YAML or Python. Gherkin will interpret the structure of the test case based on indentations. The hash character is used for a single line of comment in Gherkin. Gherkin is a DSL used by the Cucumber framework. In C++, BDD test cases are written using a popular test framework called Cucumber CPP. The Cucumber CPP framework expects that the test cases are written in the Gherkin language, while the actual test case implementations can be done with any test framework such as GTest or CPP unit. Installing the Cucumber CPP framework is quite straightforward in Linux. All you need to do is either download or clone the latest copy of Cucumber CPP. We will do the same in our terminal with the help of git clone command along with the github URL. This command can be used to clone the Cucumber CPP framework. The Cucumber CPP framework is supported in Linux, Windows and Macintosh. It can be integrated with Visual Studio on Windows or Xcodian Mac operating system. As you can see cloning the Cucumber CPP is successfully completed. Let's type the ls command. Here you can see that we have obtained the directory named Cucumber CPP. As Cucumber CPP depends on a wire protocol to allow the writing of BDD test case step definitions in the C++ language, we need to install Ruby. For that, navigate into the Cucumber CPP directory. Now install the Cucumber CPP framework prerequisite software. The sudo command helps you install Ruby on your Ubuntu system. This is one of the prerequisite software that is required for the Cucumber CPP framework. Let's type the password. Enter Y to continue the installation. It will take some time to install. Once the installation is complete, please ensure that Ruby is installed properly by checking its version. Let's type the Ruby version command. As you can see, this prints the version of Ruby installed on our system. In order to complete the Ruby installation, we need to install the Ruby dev packages. Type the command sudo apt install Ruby dev. Enter Y to continue. As you can see, installation of Ruby dev is completed. Next we need to ensure that the bundler tool is installed so that the Ruby dependencies are installed by the bundler tool seamlessly. Type the command sudo gem install bundler. As you can see we have successfully installed bundler. If it all went smooth you can go ahead and check if the correct version of Cucumber, Ruby and Ruby's tools are installed properly. Now we need to type bundle install. Let's run this command. This will take some time to install bundle. The bundle install command will ensure that Cucumber and other Ruby dependencies are installed. Make sure you don't install bundle install as a sudo user. This will prevent non root from accessing the Ruby gem packages. We are almost finished, but we are not there yet. We need to build the Cucumber CPP project. As part of that, let's get the latest test suite for the Cucumber CPP framework. Type git sub module init. Then type git sub module update. 
We go on to install the Ninja and Boost libraries before we can initiate the build. Though we aren't going to use the Boost test framework in this section, the Travis.sh script file looks for the Boost library. Hence, I would suggest installing the Boost library in general as part of Cucumber. Let's type sudo apt install ninja build and provide the password for test. Then type sudo apt get install library boost all dev. Enter y to continue. Install library boost all dev. It will take some time to install it. As you can see, we have successfully installed ninja and boost libraries. In this video, we have installed Cucumber CPP in Ubuntu.